Radio Raheem standing here with what uh, the man who most people consider to be one of the greatest trainers, maybe even of all time, Nacho Beristein. Uh Nacho, you know, it was such a long road with uh, Juan Manuel Marquez getting that win over Pacquiao. I, I just talked to him about how he felt in the moment when Pacquiao hit the canvas and he knew it was finally over. He had that victory. How did you feel? que fue un tiempo muy largo desde que empezaron a la primera pelea con Pacquiao hasta la última y para poderle ganar este cuando vio usted a Pacquiao siempre que no mames cuando cuando usted cuando le ganaron a Pacquiao qué sintió usted no oh, pues un gran un gran orgullo porque ya le habíamos ganado antes pero los jueces estadounidenses nos negaron la victoria siempre we we beat him uh, before but uh, at the moment that he hit the floor uh, it was a big, a big moment for me I felt very happy it was a, a great moment for Juan Manuel and I was also very happy for him now it's been said that you don't feel it's necessary for a Marquez to fight Pacquiao again no matter the money uh, is that true es cierto que usted está en contra de la pelea de Juan Manuel con Pacquiao otra vez independientemente del dinero sí porque yo tengo que seguir los pasos de mi peleador no puedo no me mando solo y si él me dice que no es no y si va hasta el infierno yo lo acompaño siempre pero ahora se, se han hecho mucho daño en cuatro peleas y para qué yeah first of all I don't call the shots the, the fighter calls the shots and Juan, if Juan Manuel is his decision I'm gonna follow him through hell if he chooses a different path uh, and plus uh, the four fights they've been punishing themselves a lot so I don't think I think this is enough you know, you don't call the shots, but obviously you're very close to your fighter. Uh, a lot of people would ask, including me, after having beaten Pacquiao, it didn't seem like Marquez had anything else to prove. At his age, he's still looking good, still thinking, well, why not just retire and let that be the moment that stands still in history? Dice que después de todo lo que ha pasado Juan Manuel, este, después de la última pelea, ya no tiene nada que comprobar, pero sin embargo sigue, se ve bien, habla bien, todo está perfecto, se ve mejor, se ve físicamente más joven. Este, ¿Por qué no retirarse en ese momento y llevarse ese momento para toda la vida? Lo que yo pensaba y insistí mucho en él, para que, pero quiere ser campeón cinco veces en diferentes divisiones y no le puedo negar la oportunidad. That's what I thought, that's what I wanted for him, you know, to retire and, and go over the sun, to sunset and, and look good than doing it. But he wants to, you know, go for a fifth title. He wants to, he has more hunger in him and he has a lot of boxing left to, on his body. So he wanted to, to continue his career and fight Bradley. Well, that makes your job a little bit tougher because he's fighting a young, strong, hungry fighter. Uh, what are you going to do in camp to combat the youth and, as he said, speed of Timothy Bradley. Eh, ahora hace su trabajo un poquito más difícil. Este, ¿Qué es lo que va a hacer cuando van en contra de un peleador más joven, más fuerte, con más hambre, más nuevo y más, más grande que, que Juan? Vamos a intentar superarlo con técnica, con contragolpes, con velocidad, con todo. Well, we're, we're going to try to, you know, uh, go against him uh, with technique, with counter-punching, with a uh, good game plan and, uh, and with everything. And, and, and lastly, Nacho, when he goes into the history books, <clears throat> when he finally does retire and he's a Hall of Fame fighter, what do you think should be said about Juan Manuel Marquez? If you could, if you could sum him up in a few lines, what would it be? Cuando entre, cuando se retire, entre al Salón de la Fama, este, cuando ya se esté hablando de Juan Manuel Márquez en la historia, ¿qué es lo que tú crees que se debería decir de él? Pues que debe dejar un gran legado para el boxeo, no nomás mexicano, para el boxeo internacional. Es un gran peleador, un peleador fino, que yo he tenido cientos de peleadores ahí, ninguno como él boxeando. He said, uh, not only for for it should be a great legacy, but it shouldn't say as a Mexican fighter in the in internationally as a world. Uh, I think he he should be uh, recognized as one of the best of all time. Uh, he's a finesse fighter. I had many many fighters, thousands of fighters in in my career, and none compared to him. Thank you, Nacho. I appreciate the time. The same can be said for you, Radio Rahim with Nacho Berestein.